हेलो सी यू टी यू जी ट्वेंटी फाइव एस्पायरेंट्स सो जनरल टेस्ट इज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट सेक्शन थ्री पार्ट ऑफ सी यू टी एज यू आर अवेयर एंड वील बी डिस्कसिंग पास्ट ईयर क्वेश्चन एज फार एज क्यू ए इज कंसर्न इन जी टी एज यू ऑल नो देर आर सिक्सटी क्वेश्चन एंड क्लोज टू सेवनटीन एटीन क्वेश्चन आर फ्रॉम क्यू ए सेक्शन एंड आउट ऑफ दो सेवनटीन क्वेश्चन और एटीन क्वेश्चन फिफ्टी परसेंट एट नाइन क्वेश्चन आर फ्रॉम द अरिथमेटिक पार्ट ऑफ द QA section. So arithmetic is very very important. As you see, 50% of the QA section of general test is from arithmetic. Let's discuss some good questions from past year questions. Actual CUT UG general test past year paper and past year questions. So let's see this question. I would advise you to pause the video, solve the question first, and then see the solution. Then only you will be having a learning out of these videos. Otherwise, it will be just a video watching, and you will not be able to learn anything out of it. The question is: If a is to b is equal to five is to six, and b is to c is equal to six is to seven, then a plus b is to b plus c is to a plus c is this. Uh, this is this year's 2024 question. It's a very easy question. As you can see, b is the common over here, and b is six over here, and b is six over here. So no issues, nothing to do anything over here. Uh, so a is to b is to c would be five is to six is to seven. We need to find a plus b is to b plus c is to a plus c. So a plus b will be five plus six, eleven. B plus c will be six plus seven, thirteen. And a plus c will be five plus seven, twelve. So my answer will be eleven is to thirteen is to twelve, which is C option. Easy one. Let's solve another one. Now it's a huge amount of learning in this question. Very uh, consciously understand this concept also. The concept of average speed. Right. Again, pause the video and try to solve the question first. So Ajay walks at a speed of four kilometer per hour. He doubles his speed after reaching exactly halfway. He walks for twelve hours in all. What is the total distance travelled by him? So let's solve with the basic formula. And the basic formula for time speed distance questions is speed is equal to distance upon time. This is the only formula, right? Now let's say the total distance. You can suppose total distance as x also, or you can suppose the total distance as two x also. It will help just for the sake of calculation. Let's say this part is x half distance, and the remaining half distance is x. Okay. Now the speed for the first half is four kilometer per hour. He doubles his speed after reaching exactly halfway. That means speed over here is eight kilometer per hour. Total time is twelve hours. So let's equate this condition. Now, as you see, speed is equal to distance by time. So time will be equal to distance by speed. So time over here. Distance is x, speed is four. Time over here, distance is x, speed is eight, and this total time is twelve. Simple equation, you'll be able to solve it. Let's solve it. So you get over here three x is equal to eight into twelve because eight will be the LCM here. It will be two x plus x three x is equal to eight into twelve. Or three fours are x will be equal to eight fours are thirty two. So x is thirty two, and the first option. Is 32 kilometer, and this is the wrong answer. Why? Because total distance is 2x. Because we supposed half distance as x. So total distance will be 32 plus 32, which will be 64. So 64 kilometer will be the total distance. Very easy, direct. Let's understand the concept of average speed over here also, and try to solve this question with the another concept. Let me erase this. Okay. So what is average speed? Now average speed is Total distance by total time, right? Now you have to remember two very very important results. If the time is constant for different parts of the journey, if time is constant, if time is constant, then average speed will be the arithmetic mean of the speeds. Let's assume two speeds, S one and S two, and time is same for these two speeds. Then the average speed for this entire journey would be the arithmetic mean of S1 and S2, which is S1 plus S2 by 2. Clear? But if the distance is constant, the second condition, if the distance is constant, if d is constant, then the average speed is the harmonic mean of the speeds, right? Now, if the distance is a constant, let's say distance x, distance x for distance x, the speed is S1 for distance x, the remaining equal distance, the speed is S2. Harmonic mean will be two by one by s one plus one by s two, which turns out to be two s one s two divided by s one plus s two. 
right this is the harmonic mean of two speeds so if the distance is constant then the average speed is the harmonic mean and if nothing distance or time they are not constant nothing is constant then the average speed the formula will be total distance by total time this is the concept now you have learned the concept also let's solve this question with the help of this concept okay now ajay walks half distance at 4 km per hour the remaining half at 8 km per hour right the average speed for this entire journey with the help of total distance let's, let's obviously we'll equate this with the uh, help of formula of total distance by total time okay so the average speed for this entire journey will be total distance is 2x and total time given is 12 hours since the distance is constant in these two speeds here the average speed will be the harmonic mean which will be 2 s1 into s2 by s1 plus s2 which is 2 into 4 into 8 divided by 4 plus 8 right now 4 plus 8 is 12 this 12 gets cancelled over here 2 gets cancelled x is equal to 4 into 8 which is 32 again be very cautious over here because 32 is the first option this is not the answer because the total distance we have assumed is x is half so total distance is 2x so 2 into 32 which is 64 kilometer is the correct answer for this question i hope you have learned something new in this video we'll keep on bringing such videos all the best guys and god bless you thank you